Hey guys, Dan Carr here from shuttermuse.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a feature of some of Canon's super telephoto lenses that apparently not everybody is aware of. I saw a post by a prominent sports photographer recently mentioning that when he used this feature in a media room, a number of his colleagues were unaware that this was an option to them. What we're talking about here is the ability to use a Kensington type security lock. So this is a cable lock with a padlock on the end. And this is typically used for locking up laptops or other electronics within an office environment, but Canon actually include a Kensington type lock slot on a number of their super telephoto lenses. Now they began doing this in 2010 when they launched the 300 F28 Mark II and the 400 28 Mark II. And they then added that feature to the 500 Mark II, the 600 Mark II, the 200 to 400 F4, which is the one I have here, and also the 400 DOIS Mark II as well. Presumably this will be a feature that is continued on all of their super telephoto lenses from this point onwards. So anything from 2010 onwards should have this feature. Now the way this works is quite simple. Take the two ends of your security cable, wrap this around something nice and secure, pass the lock through the loop on the end, and then pop open the rubber cap on the end of this locking knob for the tripod collar. That's where you'll find the Kensington type slot. Pressing the button on the lock rotates the little pin 90 degrees, pop it in the slot, release the pin, and then lock this. And that's it, you're good to go. Now the version that I've chosen to use is the combination lock version. It costs around $8 more than the regular version, so you're looking at around $28 to $30 on Amazon. Still a tiny fraction of the cost of one of your lenses. Now I like the combination lock version because if I've locked this up in a media room or in a public location, I don't want to discover that I left my keys in my office. That would be a disaster to my working day. So combination lock version is well worth the extra few dollars. Now of course a cable like this isn't going to prevent a determined thief that has the right tools, time, and privacy to really hack away at this cable. But what it is going to prevent is that smash and grab scenario. So if by necessity you've had to lock this up in your car, you've cabled this to something sturdy inside the car and someone smashes the window, they find this in your trunk or hidden on the back seat, they're not going to be able to just grab it and run away. And hopefully if somebody was to walk into a media center with some bolt cutters, one of your colleagues might stop them. So if it's in that kind of situation, you're going to be protected. And then if you're in a public situation, perhaps covering a busy sporting event, then you're going to be able to chain this to a nearby railing, potentially chain it to yourself or your backpack. And if somebody tries to grab it while you're looking through another lens and another camera, then you're going to get some indication that they're trying to run away with this. Unfortunately, I know of a couple of photographers that lost a lot of camera equipment in very public sporting situations. So this can definitely help in that scenario. If you want to see some more photos of this in use and some more detailed photos of the mechanism, there is an accompanying blog post. Just check the link in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. We'll have plenty more like this in the future. Thanks for watching.